congratulations on your IPO. Within a month or so, the stock is up 40%. Would you say that the public listing was the proudest moment in your professional career? As the first private airline in Vietnam, we have been bringing about positive changes in the aviation sector enabling millions to fly for their first time. We'd also like to deliver more value to investors in Vietnam's stock market. I also feel happy that we have introduced a great new product on the stock market, as we did for our aviation industry. When you made your first million as a student entrepreneur in Russia, did you ever think that you would get to a billion? I made my first million in my second year in university. I have been fortunate to grow up in an environment that didn't pressure me to make money as the primary goal in life. I haven't really cared much about how much I earned. So you went from trading to real estate to aviation, completely different sectors. How do you decide which sectors to enter and what's your secret for success? My understanding in finance and economic management, as well as my experiences, have helped develop my business characteristics. Therefore, I feel confident whenever I make my foray in any field. There are key points in any business, such as what's your market? How do you manage a company? How can you make a competitive product? The single most important factor in running a business is to know your strengths and advantages before you start. If you were to start all over again, given that Vietnam is still one of the world's fastest growing emerging markets, can you replicate that success? I'm positive that now and in the future there will be opportunities for enterprises in Vietnam. If we look at aviation, Thailand, for example, with a population of around 80 million people, has more than 450 aircraft. Now Vietnam, with 100 million passengers, has only 130 aircraft. Do you think that you walked a fine line when you promoted Vietjet initially using bikini-clad models and stewardesses? You have the right to wear whatever you want. I recall that the bikini issue was controversial. Yet, if I could do it again, I would stick with my decision.